Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Ruben from the Parker campus and this is your word of the day. As followers of Jesus Christ, are you living peaceably with others or are you in constant conflict and drama with those around you? You see, when we focus on the conflicts and the drama around us, we can get caught up in the messiness of it, forgetting that we are called to live in peace with one another. Now that usually happens when we forget to be thankful. We forget to be thankful for what Jesus has done in our lives. We forget to be thankful for uh, the peace that we have with God. And we forget that Jesus is the Prince of Peace. And we are to reflect him in our everyday lives. But when we are thankful, it does change our hearts. It changes the attitude of our hearts as we walk in this newness of life. Which means to put away the old man, the old habits, the old attitude, the old way of thinking and talking, and to put on the new self. We're reminded in this in Colossians 3, because Paul's telling us to put on the new man, to put on compassionate hearts, uh, meekness, patience, bearing with one another, forgiving one another. And he tells us above all, putting on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And you might be thinking, well, that sounds good, Pastor, but how do I focus on putting on the new self when there's so much conflict and drama around me? Well, Paul answers that in uh, verse 15 of chapter 3. He says this. He says, and let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts to which indeed you were called in one body and be thankful. You know, it really depends on what you let rule your heart. Is it the messiness and drama and the conflicts around you or is it the peace of Christ that is ruling and controlling your hearts? You know, when we come into a life-changing relationship with Jesus, we have peace with God. And as his followers, we have peace that surpasses human understanding in our hearts and in our minds when going through difficult circumstances. But we're also called to live at peace with others, to connect and build community with one another, to build each other up, not to tear each other down, to speak life to one another, not death. Jesus said, by this, all people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. And when we live a life of peace with one another, not just peace within ourselves, but being peaceable with others, it shows all people that we have love for one another. And that happens when the attitude of our heart is thankful for what Jesus has done for us, remembering that we have peace with God and that we are supposed to reflect Jesus, who is the Prince of Peace. So don't get caught up in the messiness of conflicts and drama going on around you. Instead, let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts to which indeed you were called in one body and be thankful. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.